we're at the U of L hospital in the basement, getting ready to have my spinal cord biopsy done, make sure everything's good for surgery in May. So it's with sedation. I don't really know what to expect. I'm kicked out of therapy the rest of the week. It's Wednesday, so another lazy week. But uh, I'm very excited to be moving forward with this process. So we'll see how this goes. And the biopsy should take like an hour. They and said, this is another hour and a half for sedation. Yeah, an observation afterwards. So, well, yeah. It's raining cats and dogs today, and the van is in the shop per usual. So we had to have a wheelchair taxi come get us. Um, the guy was really nice. He yeah. Come pick us up. He had the other kind of ramp. Yeah, fold out. Much more reliable, it seems. Our spot there in this camera. Yeah. 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 Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Just going to clean off your skin here, okay? Right. Might be a little cold. You said you have some feeling different parts. Yeah. A little bit more cold and wet here. If you feel like you need more pain medicine, just let me know. I'm standing right back here. Sounds good. Feeling pretty good right now. Just a little spasm today. Okay. And you warned us. You said you would get those. Yes, sir. They really shouldn't affect us too much here for something like this. Great. Right, you're going to feel some pinching and burning here. This is some numbing medicine. You might not feel it, but I wanted to warn you just in case, okay? Yeah, I appreciate that. Pinching and burn. Did you feel it, or is that just nope. a spasm? This is the body reacting. Uh-huh. This is really for numbing up the skin and the muscle that we have to go through there. You can't really numb up the spine in the disc itself. Right. bit of pressure here. A little more pressure. And then what we do is we make little small movements and we do little pictures to see our, where we're going. We just make fine tuning adjustments. The way this is shaped I have to go kind of low to high. It's not really a straight shot to get into that disc. We gotta angle it. So we got 20 years of experience coming in handy. Doing okay? Yes, sir. Next, next little sir. Yeah, we'll hopefully get you off of there pretty soon here. And that should be in there by feel. It's 
little bit, so I might need some sanding, but I'm gonna see if I can get a little core of the disc right there. So good news, there's no fluid or pus or anything like that in there. Cool. What I'm going to do is to try to take a little biopsy, little piece of the disc to send it for cultures. Because this is a bone, a lot of times it will not really even give us a piece. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't give us a piece, then what I can do is I can put a little salt water in there, try to flush it and pull that out to get a culture. But we're right in the spot. Cool. Can, can I get a little bit more of that pain there, please? Yeah. Yep. Right, you hear a little click here. get a little piece of disc from that spot see it right there oh, cool and they'll be a you know they'll be able to culture that to see if there are any bacteria in there awesome. you want that on your camera yeah there that little piece in there uh -huh. all right <laughs> i'm just gonna pull this out now okay hopefully there's no infection there right. a little bit of pressure maybe and when we just get a scan make sure we don't see any bleeding from that muscle that we went through Yeah. It's a little uncomfortable. Is there anything we can do to make you a little more comfortable? No, I think I'll be alright. Not too bad, huh? No, sir. We're all done. Oh, well, alright. to Fraser. Jared got a call from his nurse this morning and his surgeon wants to meet with him because biopsy results are in. Mm -hmm. No infection. And All good things. Yeah, we're moving forward with the epidural skin. Hold on, I have to drive. Okay, we'll be back. Pulling into the garage now. Jared yeah. is very nervous. I don't understand why. I think it's all good news. Yeah, they just... Stay I, positive, Jared. I am positive, but they told me everything was good before and then told me I was no longer a candidate and that was crushing. And so I'm just nervous. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of... Well, you don't have an infection, which is where you got stopped last time. Mm -hmm. So we're already one step further. One step closer. All right, we will report back. Pulling in. Off to see Boyachi. Okay, so it is now 3 p.m. and we yes. have completed all of our doctor's visits for the day and uh, we are heading home. I have an exam to take and Jared has some food to eat. Yes, I do have some food to eat. <laughs> Great news. The doctor is fully confident that I'm a candidate. The degeneration in my back is stable, so he's confident to move forward with surgery. And usually doctors are a little... Uh, More cautious. Very cautious. Yeah. And don't want to overpromise. But Jared's nurse even asked, yeah. like, so Limited if you open care. him up in May and you see something that's concerning, we stop the surgery? Yeah, is there a chance that, you know, you'll open him up and then he, he won't be a candidate? And what was his quote? He goes, no, that would be terrible. <laughs> so that's why they've been so cautious, um, yeah. just making sure everything is okay before they promise him anything, which is, which is a good thing, even it's though Jared's gone kicking and screaming. All right, so now that the phone is working, do you want to tell them why you couldn't continue with the surgery and, like, location of the implant? Yeah, so last time... I went through this process uh, to get cleared for surgery. 
they determined I wasn't eligible because there was degeneration in my back. And normally that's not a problem. A lot of uh, us with spinal cord injury have, have problems with our back, but it happened to be right at the same area that they do the surgery. And they're worried that if they did the surgery where they have to remove some bone, that it would weaken my back even further. And they didn't want to risk that. So they've been monitoring it for about a year and a half and it hasn't changed at all. So they feel it's stable enough now that we can go ahead and, and move forward with surgery. The array goes at T12, L1, L2 area, and that's right where the degradation is in my back. Luckily, it has stabilized. And so for the last year and a half, it hasn't really gotten any worse. So we can go ahead and and it's making faces at me. <laughs> so they're confident now that we can go ahead with the surgery, which is great news. Uh, <clears throat> great news. Great news. Um, you sound so sad. I am so tired. I am, I'm spent. May is still the date, and everything is a go. So it's it's looking good. Good news today. So we'll keep you all updated. And, we'll and Jared needs a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Are you going to wave? No waves? <laughs>